coming to the process of the painting. Process is very simple, it's not complicated. We have the paints available and there's a manufactured recommended ratio of uh, adding the thinness to the paint to, to improve the workability of the paint. And we use those paints through an airless spray machine. There's an airless spray machine which is resting on the excess platform. There's a sprayer attached to that. And with that airless spray machine, we just keep on spraying the machine. Now, there is a certain uh, defined thickness of the paint for the each coat because you cannot paint the whole thickness in single go, otherwise paint will fail. So, for the external paint, we are uh, putting one primer and then we are putting uh, three coats of the uh, finished paint. So that the total thickness we are achieving in the four coats. That means first we paint from the top to bottom, single coat, then another coat top to bottom after the first coat is dried and so on and so forth. So this is how we are you know, uh, continuing each step by step. As you can see, we are coming from the top to bottom in a strip and then horizontally we will be moving across the periphery of the cooling tower. That's how we are uh, you know, doing the painting of this cooling tower. So as you can see that we have started the cooling uh, tower 1 and likewise we will go from cooling tower 1 to 2, 3, 4 and we will complete the cooling tower and then you can see a beautiful cooling tower in front of you, well painted and this is going to be one of the landmark structure in Bangladesh. <laughs>